This not how you make green curry, hiya. Today guys, we're gonna be reviewing Jamie's Thai green curry and hopefully this will be a little better than his last butter chicken video. Then again, Jamie has an ability to surprise everybody. In any case, if you are new guys, welcome to the channel. My name is James. I have plenty of other recipes on my YouTube channel and I've been cooking all over the world for many, many years. So hopefully you will like something. And if you do like this video, then don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button and share. And let's get started. Mr. Chili Jam, AKA Jamie Olive Oil. He disappoint Uncle Roger so many times now. How his Thai green curry gonna be? Subscribe to Uncle Roger channel. We so close to 4 million niece and nephew in family. And when we hit 4 million, Uncle Roger gonna make my own ramen. So smack the subscribe button now. Go. Guys, we're gonna make Thai green curry. It's delicious, fragrant. My family love it. We're gonna go one cup of rice. That's enough for four people. One cup rice for four people. Is your whole family just baby bird hiya? That like five grain of rice each. You starving your children, Jamie. Eight seconds in, already make mistake. Heat the Usain Bolt of fucking up. And then two cups of water. One cup of rice is going to be about 200 grams and you need about 100 grams per person if the rice is going to be, say, the main dish, about 90 to 100 grams per person. If the rice is going to be a side dish or, or if it's going to accompany the main dish, like with curry or anything like this, then you can use a little less. You don't have to use 100, maybe 50, 60 grams per person. So Jamie's not completely wrong, but if I were him, I would be making double the amount so I have extra for curry for the next day or if I want to make stir fry or anything like this. I'd always make a little extra because it saves me time later on in the week. This is the perfect equation for the perfect fluffy rice. A pinch of salt. Now if you're going to be cooking rice at home without a rice cooker, and I think Jamie is using basmati rice, not jasmine, because with uh, jasmine rice, you have to wash it before to get rid of the excess starch. You have to rinse it a couple times. But a quick way of starting the cooking process of the rice is to do what Jamie's doing by putting the kettle on and bringing that water up to temp. Yes, this is a little trick. Then again, if you have a rice cooker, I would suggest using a rice cooker. But if you're like me, where you have a very little kitchen, and trust me, it looks nice and organized now, but I have another room, a little one to the side with, it's totally unorganized and <laughs> I don't have enough space. So if you are like me with, say, not that much space, it can be a little challenging to have, say, another machine just for one thing that, you know, you're not gonna use, say, every day. Lid on top, medium heat, Happy days. No, 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 not happy day, no. You don't have rice cooker. It's sad day for Uncle Roger. We're gonna make a paste. Peel a thumb-sized piece of ginger. So we're gonna go in with your thumb size, my thumb, not your thumb, right? Thumb-sized piece of ginger. In. Hiya, ginger wrong. Use kalangkau, kalangkau. Nobody use ginger for Thai green curry, nobody. Now obviously if you cannot get galangal, if you don't have an Asian market next to you or if your grocery store doesn't carry it or anything like this, you can substitute it, yeah? Um, Jamie could say this though, that you know maybe the correct thing to use is galangal and then you know ginger if you need a substitute. They're not the same, they're a little different. But it would be nice if Jamie, with all the studio money and everything else, could at least explain why he's using this instead of that other ingredient, instead of this is how you do it. So. If you have to substitute, you can. But if you can get the actual ingredient, galangala, in your grocery store or anything like this, try it, get that instead, and use that to make the uh, curry paste. Thumb-sized piece of ginger. In to the food processor. In to the food processor. And if you can use a pestle and mortar, it's a lot better than, say, a food processor. Any food processors, Vitamix, um, a thermal mix, anything like this, the blades spin, yeah, at several thousand RPM, which is fantastic. In the thermal mix, you can make a very smooth puree, but the blades are cutting. They're not crushing, they're cutting any of the ingredients. So you're not going to have the same results as using a pestle and mortar. In a pestle and mortar, you're crushing the ingredients, and this helps to release a lot of the fragrant aromas from the ingredients that you're using. <sighs> Food processor. 
Jamie, I thought you have pestle and mortar. When you're making the Malaysian fish video, I see you have pestle and mortar. Where is it? Use your pestle and mortar. Where is it? Niece and nephew, food processor, not replacement for pestle and mortar. Because food processor just slice shit up, pestle and mortar can do Uncle Roger. Favorite thing, pounding. Pounding, bring out all the flavor. Maybe that's why Auntie Helen pounds so many other people. Into the food processor. Then we're gonna go in with the lemongrass. Now I need to spank it. No, no, no. Now I need to spank it. If you're using lemongrass, yeah, you don't need to spank it. If you're putting, especially if you're using a pesto mortar, you're gonna be crushing it anyway, but you don't need to spank it. Um, Jamie's being a little theatrical with this. Stop spanking. Spanking not gonna do anything. You're gonna throw it all in food processor anyway. It's spinning at 9,000 RPM. If you spank harder than food processor, then I feel bad for Mrs. Oliver. Sorry, Jamie's children. And then this part, I'm just gonna break that up and put that in. Four cloves of garlic. Garlic, good. And then six leaves of kaffir lime. Kaffir lime, okay. Inch of cumin. Beautiful. Little green chilies here. Oh, who is that? See, I think that Jamie wife running away from spanking. Little green chilies here. Now, Jamie's only using three chilies. I know he doesn't like spicy food, but you need to use a little more than three Thai chilies, yeah? And just remember that Thai chilies are a little on the spicy side, so use your own discretion when using them for any dishes or anything like this. Add a little in the beginning, and if it's not spicy enough, add a little more. Now, some people believe that removing the seeds make the chilies less spicy, and the spice or the chemical compound in chilies is called capsaicin. This is what makes them hot. Now, this chemical is not in the seeds. It could be coated on the seeds, but it's mostly concentrated in the white membrane on the inside of the chili peppers. You don't want to see seeds in the dish, that's fine. Uh, but you can throw them in whole. You don't need to remove the seeds when making, say, any curries or anything like this. European cuisine, we tend to remove the seeds without just about everything. And the skin. You have to peel just about everything. Out with the seeds, I'm going to go for three. What? What he say? I'm going to go for three. T three? Just, just three? Just three chili for your curry. Hi, uh... Out with the seeds, I'm going to go Three. Uncle Roger making Thai green curry for four people. I gonna mm. use like 20 or 30 chili, but he used three that less than one chili per person. Why even bother with the chili? This is not gonna be curry, this is gonna be smoothie. Hi, uh, not enough chili. Uncle Roger predict your green curry not even gonna have green color. Keep watching video, see if Uncle Roger prediction correct. Little green chilies here. Out with the seeds. Also, why are you deceiving the chili? Why? Uncle Roger realized this is white people's favorite thing. They like throwing out seed of chili. Seed is where all the flavor is. Don't be pussy. Eat your chili seed. Hiya. Jamie, don't need to take the chili seed out. You got five children. You have more than enough seed. Out with the seeds. I'm gonna go for three. Two shallots. That's so many shallots. Nice. Bunch of coriander. So it's too much coriander. Hiya. Now I would say that Jamie is missing a few ingredients. One, you can see the texture of the curry paste is too coarse. This isn't a paste. This is just chopped up. But secondly, he's missing a lot of other ingredients or several ingredients that make a delicious curry paste. He's missing shrimp paste, white peppercorn, things like this, and more chilies. If you're allergic to shrimp paste or shrimp in general, I should say crustaceans, then you don't need to use it. It's not a must. But if you aren't allergic, it adds a lot of flavor and try adding a little bit if you're going to be making his recipe. Wait, wait. So that your paste, that all the ingredient for your paste, no galangal, no white peppercorn, no shrimp paste, just that little sprinkle of cumin not gonna do shit. This curry gonna be so weak. So, so weak. weak. And then a tablespoon of ground oil into the pan. It's fairly hot. I'm gonna go in with 750 grams of chicken. And also the chicken thigh is tastier. So we'll fry this off. Jamie is right that chicken thighs have a lot more flavor in them. However, he should not be using a metal spoon on a nonstick pan 
and that brand of nonstick pans, that's the good brand as well. But it's just good practice not to use metal spoons on any nonstick pans. The other thing is that you should not be cooking the chicken thighs first. You should be cooking the curry paste because you still need to cook the spices in the curry paste. It's not finished yet. Or at least add the curry paste with the chicken and cook them together. Eight minutes in a hot... No, no, Haya, no, no. Mm. Metal spoon on non-stick pan. That's not even the biggest crime in this picture. You're not supposed to fry chicken like this for green curry, Haya. Mm. You need to mix the chicken with the paste and then stir fry it together. Jamie Oliver, haven't get one thing right so far? You're just making chicken stir fry now, and earlier you would make smoothie. He making every other food except green curry. What crazy thing he gonna do next? In the sink markets today, you can get a whole bunch of different mushrooms. We've got a no what? king oysters here, but you get those little mixed. You know, you can do whatever you want at home. If these are the only ingredients that you have to make, say, a quick curry for the night, it's look AI, yeah? That's how it is. It's not going to be authentic, but if you want to make it traditionally, yeah, you don't need to add all these mushrooms. The mushrooms though that he's using, the king oysters, this is not a common one that people see a lot. They are the ones on the bottom right of the screen. If you can get some of these different mushrooms, they would make a beautiful risotto. Pack. Nobody put mushroom in curry. Of uh, Asian. 400. Uh, 400 gram oriental mushrooms quarter some that we can leave these whole and just break them up into this much mushroom and he used three chili now he making mushroom soup hi <laughs> too much mushroom who gonna eat this much mushroom in one meal jamie just because you put in enoki mushroom it don't make this dish any more asian this curry is so white it about to book spa holiday Little wads. Look how amazing that is. So I'm just going to push the chicken to one so side. So push to one side, go throw it out and start over. The mushrooms. Loads of texture, loads of different oh. shapes. Look at that mushroom, that big ass piece of yeah. mushroom. Who want to eat that in your curry? If you're going to be using a lot of mushrooms like Jamie's using, and I don't mean for Thai green curry, I mean for anything like risotto or soups or anything like this, you want to Cook the mushrooms first because mushrooms are like a sponge. They have a lot of water in them. So if you cook them before you release that water, they're going to shrink. They will also, on the other hand, because they are like a sponge, will absorb all the fat, all the oil that's in the pan or the sauce that you have them in as well. You're just eating green curry and then one big blob of mushroom get in your mouth. And when you cook mushroom, all the water from mushroom come out. So this dish not even gonna taste like green curry. It gonna taste like mushroom sweat. Hiya. And that can suck up some of the lovely fat that's coming out of that chicken as well. These little delicate mushrooms here, I'll put those in just at the end. No, don't put it in. Now we've got some nice color on the chicken and the mushroom. I'm now gonna go in with a paste. Delicious. No, 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 like no, this. no. I like this a lot. If you look, at the consistency of this paste, it's very coarse. Yes, it's not a paste, it's not a puree. It's very, very, very coarse. I would strongly suggest, if you wanna save yourself all the time and effort and save yourself the headache, is to just get a pre-made curry paste. Yeah? And a good one is Mayploy. It's a very traditional Thai curry paste that has all the authentic ingredients in it. And it's a very good product for a pre-made curry paste. It's not the same thing as actually making it yourself, but it has a level of consistency that is probably much higher than what most people can make in their homes. And you buy it, you leave it in the fridge, and whenever you want to make a curry, you take a little bit out. That's it. You have a much better quality product than this coarse um, curry paste that he's made. <sighs> Uncle Roger's so upset. I put my leg down from chair. This not how you make green curry. Hiya. You don't just whack it in like it's soy sauce. Green curry, you cook the coconut milk, pour the green paste in, and then you boil until the fat coming to surface. Beautiful green fat, not just throwing random shit in pan. This worse than his egg fried rice video. Where did you learn how to make Thai green curry? From K Cooking Channel, is it? 
Hiya. I'm gonna go in with a paste. Delicious, fast cooking. Don't brag about being fast. It's easy to be fast if every step wrong. Straight in with the coconut milk. And I'm using a coconut milk that's light. So give that a little shake. Now, personally, I don't like light coconut milk. Um, it's much more watery than the normal coconut milk or coconut cream that you use. And if you don't know what coconut milk is made out of, yes, you have the coconut, you have the white meat inside, and then you have the water inside of that. The coconut milk is actually made from the meat that's inside the coconut, the white bit. They take this, they grind it up into a paste, mix it with water and some stabilizers, and that's what you get when you buy it out of the can at the grocery store. Light coconut milk is a little on the watery side, it's not as thick. So if you use the light, it's going to be watery, it's not going to be as creamy. So just keep this in mind if you get this. Now in with the munch too. Now we know... <laughs> now in with the munch too. Now in with the munch too. Need people in so much. Remember, three chili. Three and 200 gram of the worst vegetable ever, munch too. If vegetable tastes like sad, munch too tastes like terror. <sighs> is this what British people think green curry is? Is this what they're eating? Two minutes to cook, so that's kind of your timer now. Of course, you could use any other seasonal greens. Have fun with it. Jamie does tend to add a lot of peas to the dishes, or at least the videos that we've seen so far. He does add a lot of peas to the dishes, yeah? Like I said in that last video, I come from an English family and we use peas for just about everything. And, well, you can tell, no? Make it your own. Now, don't now make it your own. Video. Make it Thai, you know, please. Mushrooms here, go in. Oh, no. Spoons of fish sauce, go. <laughs> fish sauce. Wrong brand. Everybody buy fish sauce, you buy the squid brand, not this bullshit brand. In. One and a half lime. Wrong again, nobody use lime. Basil. Wrong on the again, top. Thai basil. Just pluck, just pluck, don't slice. How many things can he get wrong in one video? Hiya. I can't even put my leg back up on chair ever again. You've kind of got like ginger tea infused rice. Where the tea come from? And then we just use a fork. Oh just my. to scuff up oh. that rice. Because what we want is light. Look at the, oh my god, the rice looks so clumpy and wet. Hi. Miss <laughs> mm. and nephew, please hit subscribe button now. Uncle Roger need the strength to carry on. Rice. Here, my friends, is our curry. Balanced with lime and the season. Now, if you look at this, it looks very dry, this curry, yeah? It's green with the vegetables, well, with the uh, peas that he added, but it's not a lot of sauce. You don't see a lot of coconut milk. And he's missing a couple other ingredients. Then again, I mean, if you can get the ingredients, um, maybe some bamboo shoots, no? Maybe some Thai eggplant, if you can get it. You know, that's another thing. And if you compare a few of his other past things, like with the butter chicken and with the uh, Thai red curry, you know, this looks a little dry. From the fish sauce, finish it with some herbs. What a wonderful dish. More chilies, guys, more chilies. <laughs> oh, so far chili. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here, my friends, is our curry, balanced uh. with lime. Niece and nephew, does this look like Thai green curry to you? Uncle Roger put on screen, show you side by side, hi ya. This don't look like green curry at all. See, this curry don't even look green. He didn't use enough green chili. What is this munch to mushroom bullshit? If your curry mostly look like munch to and mushroom, you fucked up. Uncle Roger can't even say hi ya anymore. It too much pain. I'd rather have Auntie Helen leave me again. He has no pestle and mortar, but somehow he still crushed all my hope and dream. You know, it's lovely to see little pops of colour. Thai green curry, cooked in the time that it took to cook some basmati rice. Basmati rice, wrong rice. Use Thai jasmine rice for Thai green curry. Is he trying to get Guinness World Record for most fuck up in one cooking video? <laughs> Look at that. 
If you are going to be using jasmine rice, just know that jasmine is a very fragrant rice and when using it, it's a good idea to give, wash it a couple times before to get rid of the excess starch because it will start to clump together and stick in the pan if you don't rinse it well. So let's have a little go. Very good. You know, it's got that wonderful sort of tropical flavor, like really, really perfume. Uncle Roger never hear anyone describe curry as tropical before. And of course, you could swap the chicken out for tofu. Go for no, don't put tofu. I see before what you do with tofu. Leave tofu alone. And there you go, guys. Thai green curry, Jamie style. It's very easy to tell that it's Jamie style. Now, I would like to see Jamie's version of Massey Man Curry. And the only video that I can find is one where he actually has somebody else that knows how to make it, making it with him. So, you know, you know, that may not be as fun to watch, but in any case, we are going to be reviewing other videos of Jamie, not just Uncle Roger's videos. I'm going to be doing a few others, like, say, risottos, or paella, you know, anything like this. And, well, let's see how he does. Really, really nice. If you want the recipe, click uh, on the details below. Don't click. And if you want a cocktail to go with this, then go over to Chink's Tube and see my friend Diridon, where we did an epic mojito. No, please don't learn to make green curry properly first. No need to pair it with mojito with lime. Mojito with lime. He's so clueless but confident. Where he get all this confident? Regular people have imposter syndrome. Jamie have the opposite of that. This Jamie make Uncle Roger cry again. The only thing he get right is the set design. It's so pity. This is old school Victorian English kitchen. Remind me of simpler time back when Jamie Oliver can't upload YouTube video. Food processor. <sighs> How many times? I've paused the video so many times I got like 50 seconds in. Oh, this video is gonna be painful. Well, in any case, guys, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, but his green curry looked very dry. And I mean, you don't have to make it like authentic all the time, but at least for Jamie, because it's not like a normal YouTube uh, person or YouTube cook or chef that uploads videos or anything like this. No, it's not like this. He actually has a show kitchen. He has a camera crew. He has editors. He has a whole business. He has restaurants. He has purveyors providing all the ingredients for him. So he could have had the correct ingredients or at least, you know, had more of the correct ingredients and then maybe had his spin on it and said, well, this is my version. We're not making the authentic, blah, blah, blah. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Be nice with him. Yeah, Jamie does get a lot of hate mail as uh, I do too as well. And it's not nice. So if you did like the video, then be sure to like, subscribe and share down below. And if you are interested in any other of my other recipes or videos on my channel, then you should click on this video here and I will see you guys again very soon. Take care.